Hi peeps. So <laughs> this is kind of an unusual video. I know um, kind of vlog style, but I wanted to do this quick video to kind of update you. Excuse the paint coming off. This is why this room is getting painted next week. But um, yeah, I wanted to do this quick coffee talk video and I don't have any coffee today. But um, to just kind of update you really quick on what's going on with my shop. So I sent out a message to um, mostly the customers that have bought from me recently and my repeat customers because I know they will probably be wondering what's going on when they see that my shop is on vacation tomorrow. <laughs> so um, yeah, tomorrow I'm putting my shop on vacation because I just need to kind of step back and kind of reevaluate and figure out if Etsy is going to be um, the platform that I stay on, or if I want to move someplace else, or what it is I want to do. So, um, yeah, so I decided to put my, my thoughts all over the place, you guys, so I'm so sorry if this is like a ramble, which is probably nothing new, because I'm always rambling. But anyway, um, yeah, so I decided that I needed to just kind of step back and just give myself a minute so I don't make the wrong decision. Um, so, you know, I didn't want to like shut down my Etsy shop and then figure out it's a mistake in the long run. And then I got to start all over again from scratch. So um, I thought, let me just put the shop on vacation for a little bit. I don't know how long that little bit is going to be. Um, and just kind of reevaluate and figure out what it is I want to do. Um, a fellow YouTuber and um, crafter reached out to me and let me know that her and, and a few others um, are on Zibit and they've been there for over a year and they're doing pretty good on there. I did know about Zibit before, many, many years ago, I think when it was like fresh and new. Um, and I had a shop for like five minutes because I really wasn't serious about the whole thing. So I kind of, as fast as I opened it, it I closed it. So um, I hadn't researched Zibit um, since then. And I've been doing a little looking around and just kind of seeing what everything was about on there. And um, I don't know if, if that's going to be um, the platform for me. But I would like to kind of test it out. Um, and, you know, they're, they have like subscription fees, but they don't have all the other fees that Etsy has, which is, you know, listing fees and they don't take a percentage of your sales and all that. But they also don't have the traffic that Etsy has, um, which is a con, of course. But um, my journals won't get lost either amongst all the others. So... You know, I'm going to weigh my options and see. And like I said, I will most likely do a test run with them while Etsy, my Etsy shop is on vacation. And if I decide to do that, you guys, those of you who are my customers, I'll probably put like one or two journals on there just to see and get your feedback as a buyer how the, sh the site is to navigate, how checkout was, was it too confusing because... I'm getting mixed reviews about the, you know, about Zibit. So I'm not quite sure. And I'd rather get it from my customers <laughs> than read about, you know, other things. So, like I said, I'll let you know before I do anything what I decide to do. In the meantime, what I plan to do is just um, sell whatever I decide to sell through YouTube, through IG, through my Facebook page, um, through PayPal um, until I make a decision on what to do because I still want to create my journals because I can't stop because it's just my life right now and I still want to make money. Let's just keep it real. Um, and so, yeah, so that's what I plan to do. Um, I'm hot right now because I'm in my craft room and I have one window open and there's no fan <laughs> and this is the hottest room in the house but um right now this is the only one that has light that I don't have to turn on the light so anyway 
I'm so sorry if I'm sweating a little bit. So, um, yeah, so I said in my last um, coffee talk that I'm going to have to go back to work. And tomorrow I have an interview, actually. Um, so I'm really hoping I get it. Um, it's part-time, but the pay is great, and it would help me so, so much. And it's not far from home, so that's a big plus as well. So I'm really hoping that I get it. Um, if those of you know who don't know, I'm in the medical field. Um, I've been doing medical records forever. <laughs> I can't even tell you how long for a long time. Um, and this, though it's medical records, it's not in a medical center. It's actually in a law firm, and they do malpractice. They do a lot of um, work with people who have been affected by 9-11. So it's very interesting. Um, I did a little bit of the law side of medical records briefly. Um, I was covering um, for someone who was on a workers' comp, and so that was what her position was. She would work with um, people who have been... A <laughs> On work was calm. It's funny that that's what she did and she wound up being out on work as calm. But anyway, so it, I think that'll be interesting to learn that side um, as well. So I'm really hoping that I get it. Pray for me. Send me good vibes, good thoughts, whatever you do. I'm going to need it because I haven't interviewed for a job in a really long time. Um, I you know, My last job was last year, um, March, March of last year. But I didn't have to interview for that job. I work for a temp agency, and so they find work assignments for me. And that work assignment didn't require me to interview. I just, they just accepted me, and that was it. So I, hadn't, I haven't had an interview in years. Well, that's not true. I did have an interview not too long ago, but it was for the paper source. And come on, we were talking about paper. <laughs> it wasn't really stressful talking about paper and crafts. And, but anyway, um... I ended up not taking that job. But anyway, that's another story. So, yeah. So, tomorrow is the interview. So, that will, that getting that job or not getting that job will make um, my decision a little bit easier. Um, because if I get the job, then I probably will stay on Etsy because I can then afford the rising fees. Um, but if I don't, then, yeah then I'll have to figure out something else. Um, but the reason why I'm taking this break is for a few reasons. One, because um, of the fees. Two, because I need to figure out what it is I'm going to do next. Three, because I have this job interview tomorrow and I'm not sure where it's going to go. Next week, my craft room and my bedroom are being painted. So I have to clear everything out. And then put everything back. And then I'm rearranging my craft room. So that's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. So I have a lot of distractions going on. Some good and some not so good. Well, I wouldn't say not so good. Just not fun. Um, but I do have a good distraction that I'm going to keep to myself for right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, so there's a lot going on. And I just wanted to kind of take a minute to just kind of think about what it is I want to do. Kind of weigh my options. Kind of do the pros and cons thing. Because I don't want to make a decision, close my shop down, and then think, oh my God, I made a mistake. And now I want to go back to Etsy and I got to start all over from scratch. And I don't want to do that because I worked hard for the little bit that I have. <laughs> and so I don't want to risk having to start all over unless I'm sure that that's what I want to do. So I'm not sure right now. So that is where I'm at. So I don't know if I said this already because I th this is the third time I did this video. And the other two came out really, really dark. So if I'm repeating myself, I apologize. So while I'm taking this break, I still want to sell my journals. I still want to share because I have two journals sitting right here that I'm currently working on. Um, and I don't know when they're going to be finished. Tomorrow will decide a lot. <laughs> um... But like I said, I still need to make money, so I still want to be able to sell my journals. So what I'll do is just I'll sell them through YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or whatever and then pay through PayPal. My journals will be the same as they've always been as far as price is concerned. So um, I'm not going to up it or down it or whatever. It's going to be the same. Um, 
Yeah, and I'll let you guys know every step of the way, whatever decision I decide to make, you guys will know. So there won't be no big surprises. All right, so I think I covered everything. I'm going to pass out. You see I'm just sweating up a storm here. My hair doesn't need to get frizzy because I just finished it. <laughs> and so I'm going to put this stuff up in a ponytail until tomorrow. Well, tomorrow will be wrapped up in a bun like an old lady for this interview. But anyway, um, so that's where I'm at, you guys. So I'm going to need your guys' prayers and thoughts and all that. And I'll let you guys know. I'll probably let you know on IG. So if you're not following me on IG, whether or not I got the job, come follow me. Same name. It's here on YouTube, Art in the City Creations. And that's it, you guys. So have a great weekend. If I don't talk to you, I will update you on what's going on. And that's it. Thank you guys for your support. I hope you will stick with me while I make this decision. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, you guys. Bye.